Hey guys, Yvonne here. And in this video, I want to show you the ninja way to promote affiliate products on Google ads. And the reason why I call it the ninja way is because Google is pretty strict with certain ClickBank offers, especially when it comes to the health niche. And so I'm going to show you a way to promote these products without Google even seeing it coming without them being on their guard that you're promoting them kind of like this website here, which has this research reviews article. And you can see that they have all these different menu options at the top. So we know that the website isn't only about these, this research review. And if you scroll down, you can read about the review. And if you click here, you will be redirected to the official research page where you can buy the offer. And if you buy, the owner will make a commission. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do here in this video. Before we get into it, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this, showing you how to make money online. Okay, that said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to do is head over into your ClickBank account and find a product. So you're going to click on marketplace here at the top and you can find any offer you want. This is totally up to you. Ideally, you promote something that you know a lot about. Like if you know a lot about cooking, maybe you want to promote a cooking product uh, because you will have to write articles and it's just much easier to do if you know about the topic. Now, the offer we're going to promote today is called Tao of Rich. And one of the niches that we didn't talk about before that is rising right now and is very popular is personal development. And Tao of Rich is one such product in this personal development self-help niche, which would be really good to promote. So if you click on it here, you will see that they have the standard VSL. You can read the text transcript. You know, it's got the headline, everything like that. Now, reason why I like this Tower of Rich offer specifically is because it focuses more so on money than other such products. So the focus here of this self-development offer is the path to money specifically as opposed to any other manifestation. And so that's kind of the whole point of this channel is teaching you how to make money online. So we're going to go in and stick with this product here for the purpose of this video. You can, of course, promote whatever you want to, but this would be a great offer to get started with yourself as well. So once you select your product, the next thing we have to do is create a website, which looked like the one that I showed you earlier. So to do that, we would need to start with hosting. I do suggest WordPress hosting to do this. It will give you the most flexibility and make your website look the most professional. So what I have personally been using for the past five years is Namecheap for my hosting, for my domains, everything like that. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Namecheap as well. So if you go to go.ivanmana.com slash Namecheap, this is going to be my affiliate link and you will be able to get some special discounts if you use it as well. So what you're going to do is once you head over to go.evanmana.com slash Namecheap is just go ahead and scroll down to WordPress hosting. You can go ahead and click that right here and you will get 30 days completely free of this hosting plan. You don't have to pay for anything at all which will give you enough time to go through the website, build it out, you know, see if this is something that you like to do that you will be able to continue doing and we can go from there. So you're going to scroll down here and you're going to select this option here. Now you could go with a bill monthly option if you want. And in fact, that's the only option where you can try for free. So all you're going to do is just click right here, try for free. And by the way, this does give you a free SSL certificate, which I really, really like. This is what makes your website secure. That's what's going to make you have this little lock icon right here. So very important stuff. So you're going to go ahead and click try for free. You might have to create an account if you haven't already. I'm just going to simply go ahead and sign in. And you can create an account if you haven't already. Just enter your username, enter your password, things like that. Very simple and you're going to select your payment method. I'm going to go ahead and click confirm payment. And as you can see here, it's going to cost me zero dollars. OK, so I'm not paying anything at all to get this up and running. And now we can give this website a name. So our product is about personal development, self-development, right? So we can give this any name we want. Um, let's see what what this website says here at the top step of faith into a step of confidence. Unusual gift from a stranger. Yeah, so we could just say, let's say manifest money, for example, right? We'll click continue. And it's on, we're on step two out of five. Now you could buy a domain from Namecheap. If you already have a domain that you bought, you can do that here. If you have a domain somewhere else, you'll be able to connect the domain. 
or you can just start with this free domain option. So your website is going to look something like this. It's not very pretty, but you can start here and then you can just add your domain later on. Okay. So you can always add your domain, no rush for the purpose of this video. We're just going to go with a free option just because it's simpler and we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Now over here, we could select a theme right off the bat, but I'm going to go ahead and click skip step because I'm going to show you where to find a theme later on. Um, you have all these options as well, which will automatically install certain plugins. I'm going to go ahead and select Yoast SEO and just leave everything else off for now and click on continue. And here we're just going to confirm everything. So this is like the default theme, which we'll be able to change. We're going to be installing the Yoast SEO plugin. This is our plan. And this is going to be our website URL. And like I said, later on, once you decide that your website is ready and good to go, you will be able to add a custom domain. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and click on continue to purchase. We're not going to be paying anything at all. And our site should be right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give it maybe 30 seconds, maybe to 60 seconds or so. And the website should be up and running and we will be able to go from there. All right. So there you go. The website is now live. If you go ahead and click on it, you should see it look like this, which looks crappy right now, but this is just the skeleton it is just the beginning. All right. So we will make it look prettier. I will show you exactly how you're going to go ahead and do that. Now, before we go in and actually edit the site, if you click on manage here, let me just quickly show you some options that you have here. So first of all, the SSL certificate here is active. If you click on this little sign, you know, it gives you a little bit more information about the point of the SSL certificate. You have your plan here. So if you go in and click manage, you will be able to pause the renewal if that's what you want and you can activate it at any time. Okay. For the purpose of this video, this is a trial website. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause that subscription and you can go ahead and close out of that over here. This is where you can change your domain. So if you click change, once you do buy a domain, if you decide this is something you want to go with, then you can just select your domain from here that you bought. In this case, like I said, we're just going to stick with a free website option and that should be good for now. So that is pretty much it for these basics. Now, if you click on WP admin, you will be taken to the WordPress dashboard and this is where you'll be able to make all the changes to your website. And I'm going to show you how to make some of the changes that you need to make. So you don't have to make too many changes here. Everything is pretty well configured here with the easy WordPress setup. So for example, if you go into settings and you go into discussion, uh, sorry, no permalinks, uh, you want to make sure that this is the option that is selected here, the post name, because whenever you add a new post, you want the website to have the name of that post here at the end, rather than it saying something like this question mark P equals one, two, three. Now you would also want to go into users, click on all users, and this is going to be the only user for you right now. So that's just your name. You can go in and click edit and you can change the name here. That's going to show up when you write a post. So whenever you write a post, it's going to say this post was written by, and what do you want it to say? So in my case, let's suppose I wanted to say written by Yvonne. And I'm going to be able to select Yvonne here as my nickname. I'm going to scroll down and click update profile. And that is it, right? So now whenever I write a post, it's going to say that this was written by Yvonne. So that is it for these basic details. Next, let me show you how to change the theme. So if you click on appearance and you click on themes right over here, you can add from a big, big, big collection of different themes. So if you click on add new theme right over here, you have all these options here. So there are almost 5,000 themes under the popular category. If you click on latest, you're going to see 9,000 theme options and you can just go in and scroll down and find whatever you want, guys. There are so many options to go through. Um, this is kind of this page that you saw before that I showed you. So if you click preview, this kind of looks similar to like this little news page, right? That you saw before. So we can probably use this here for this example. Let's go back. Uh, but like I said, you can just go through and find whatever you want. There are so many options guys, 9,000, right? So that's a lot. So let's suppose we want to go with this option here. I'm just going to click install. We're going to give it a few seconds to install, and then we're going to activate it. And then this is going to be the theme of our website. So there you go. It says installed. Now we'll click activate and there you go. This is the theme of our website now. So if we visit the site, I'm going to right click it to see what it looks like without closing out. Boom. This is our site, right? So already it looks better than it was before. Now, of course, it's not perfect, and I'm going to show you how to change it up to make it look nicer, but you can already see that we're working in the right direction. So I'm going to leave this open for now. Let's come back here. So now if you click on customize, I'm going to show you how to change up some things here. Maybe if you want to add more menu options, you want to change this option here or what it says here, like just another WordPress site. Maybe you want to add an image, things like that. 
So if you go into site identity, let's suppose you don't want this thing to show up here, right? Or you want to say something else. Let's say, learn how to manifest all the money you want. You can have it say right there. If you want to remove that, you can just delete it or you can say, I don't want to display that at all. But I'm going to leave it blank and it looks like it changed the color, which <laughs> looks fine too. So we'll just go back here. Now, if you want to change the header image, there's going to be an image that's going to show up right there at the top. And you don't see it now for some reason, uh, but let's see what happens if we select that. Oh, there you go. Okay. So the image is going to be here, not at the top. Sometimes the header image, depending on the theme, shows up above the headline, right? So that just keep in mind that every theme will be a little bit different. So you'll just have to go in and play around with it. And that's basically the idea, right? So you can go through all these options, you know, theme options, depending on what you want to change. You can go into colors and change the colors. Like that's the header text color that changed right there. If you make it, you know, pinky, it's going to be pinky. Um, I'm just going to click on default and make it whatever, whatever the default was. That looks fine to me. Let's suppose you want to adjust the menu options. And just like in that other uh, web page that I showed you, right? They had a ton, a ton, a ton of different options. So if you click on create new menu, you can give it a menu name. Let's say main menu, the, that that's going to be the primary location. You'll click next. Now you can add menu items. So you can click add menu items and you can say plus. Now this sample page, that's not really a page we want. So I'm not going to add it. But let's say you have a contact us page, you can go in and add that. You have an about us page, you can add that. Or if you are, if you have certain categories, like for example, again, on that website, they had like a technology category, right? Uh, I don't know, health category, you can do that here. So once you write articles, I'm going to show you how you can categorize them. And then you can add the categories here. So you can say, you know, health category, not health category, you know, um, weight loss category, and so on. So we're going to go back and that's what it's going to look like. And that's the idea, guys, right? So just play around with it, customize it however you want to. This is going to be what your site's going to look like. And then if you actually go to the pages, let's say contact us, I'm going to show you how to actually add content here. And then on the home page, this is going to be kind of your blog. So I'm going to show you how you can add blog posts. So we're going to click publish here. Let's say we're happy with our customization. And if we come back to this page, right, that's what it was. Remember, if we refresh it, Boom. Now all of a sudden it looks a little bit more alive. It's got the little picture here, which is really cool. And obviously you can change the picture, make it whatever you want to. Very simple to do guys, but let's go back now and let me show you how to add posts and pages. So first of all, let's go into pages. Pages are like standalone pages you're going to have. So they're like an about us page, a contact us page. This is contrary to category pages, which is like the technology category you have where you will have a bunch of different posts. So, uh, that's the difference is that a page is like one standalone page, whereas posts is like a collection of blogs, basically. So these are the pages that we added here, the about us page, the contact us page, you can click edit, and then you can make the changes here. So we can close out of that. And then you can say, you can contact me via my phone number at xxxxxxx, whatever, right? And then if we click update, and we come back to the contact us page, you'll see the new information here. And then you can do the same for the about us page as well. Now, um, the point kind of the whole point of this video, the ninja approach actually lies in the posts because we're going to be writing blogs, right? Just like you saw that article about the research review. That's exactly what we're going to do here. So we can probably delete this hello world article. We don't need that. And then you can go in and click add new. And then this is where you will be writing your posts. So in our case, we're promoting this Tau of Rich offer, okay? So what we can do, we can either make a Tau of Rich review, which is totally fine because we have a website now and it seems like Tau of Rich isn't our only purpose on the site. Um, or you can create some other article, for example, the five steps to personal self-development. You can do something like that and then you can suggest this offer here throughout your article, okay? So you can do something like that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go online. Let's say go on Google and we're going to type in five steps to self development. We can type something like this and let's suppose this one, five steps to self improvement, right? And so you can create an article, something like this, and you can go in here. I obviously don't suggest that you plagiarize, but what you want to do is just read through it, find some key points and summarize it on your own, right? So over here, for example, we could say, five steps to self development. And what I'm going to go in and do is I'm just going to speed up this part of the video as I'm going to go through this briefly scan this article and write 
you know, maybe a few paragraphs just to give you an idea for what it's going to look like. All right. So I will see you soon. All right, so I took some time to write all this out. It's not a crazy amount, but it's enough to kind of show you the idea, right? So I went through this, I renamed the article. I said it's called the five eyes to self-development uh, because they're all, you know, these are the five steps. They all involve eyes. By the way, you can probably bold these as well. Um, and I just wrote some information here, right? Now, the reason this is the ninja way is because this article is actually about the five eyes to self-development. But what we're going to do is we're going to be promoting this offer within this article. So at the end here, what we could also do is we can add, for example, a step six. And we could say something like speed up your results. And we can also make this the same heading, which was heading three. We could bold it, right? And then we could say something along the lines of, oops, gotta do. We could say something along the lines of, if you want to speed up your results, you can take a look at Tao of Rich, which is a program specifically designated to help you reach new heights in self-development or something like that, right? You can see their official website by clicking here. And then you can see maybe something like PS, their special offer of, I don't know, you would have to take a look and see if they have a special offer, something like that. Maybe let's go to read the transcript and see if they have some special offer, maybe some special discount. Um, let's go to the prices section, right? So this is like $800 off, right? So it's like, um, like over 90% off or something like that. So you can say there's a special offer of 800% off won't last long. So check it out now, something like that. Okay. And then what we do, right? Here's what we do. We're going to click on promote. Uh, you're going to select which page you want. Let's suppose we want the default page. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back here. And we're going to say by clicking here, right? So the clicking here, we're going to add a link. I'm going to paste it here. I want to open this in a new tab where we can open in the same tab. Um, I think open a new tab is better. And then we click submit. And so now when somebody clicks here, they're going to be taken to this page. So even though we're providing value and telling people the five eyes to self-development, we are also giving them an opportunity to check out this offer, right? And you don't have to wait until the last step to promote it either. You can do it earlier on. So for example, for step two, you can say something like, P.S., if you need help getting inspired, um, there are some additional resources that can help you um, here, for example, right? Additional resources that can help you. Yeah, we can say that. And then you can link the thing again right here, open a new tab, click enter, and boom, right? Here we have another link to the Tao of Rich, okay? And so that's the idea. Now, if you go into post and you go to categories, you can add a new category. And this is what I was telling you about, right? With the website, uh, where in the menu options, like you have the about us page, the contact us page, you could also have the page here, whatever you set. So let's say self development. This is going to be the self development category. Boom. So now you added it here. You can also add a featured image for this post. You can add tags to this post, all right? So different options here, but that's basically the idea. You can change the font size here by selecting it and changing it right there. I think the default is fine. And if you scroll down, you have this Yoast SEO tool, which can help you to rank uh, in Google, just the regular um, SEO. So for example, if you type in self-development, uh, Yoast SEO is gonna give you suggestions for what else can you do to um, show up even higher, right? To get Google to rank you. So you can look at these suggestions and that's the point. That's the benefit of Yoast SEO. 
But that's the idea. So you would keep on adding posts. You would obviously write a little bit more. You want to write as much as you can, you know, anywhere from a thousand to two thousand words is a healthy, good article. And eventually they're just going to rank and you can promote. We're going to be sending traffic to this page and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that as well. So we're going to click publish twice. We can view the post. And here is the post right there, right? And you, you have all these options. Again, you can change them. Once you add more posts, it's going to show up here. Once you get comments, it's going to show up here. And if somebody clicks right there, boom, they're taken to this page where they can buy and you will make a commission, okay? So this looks just like a standard general website where you are teaching people how to self-develop and you are still giving people the opportunity to actually buy. And again, if you click here, now this does look a little bit dry, I'll be honest, without the image here. So what we're going to do is let's go back into dashboard. Let's go into posts. Let's edit this post and let's quickly add a featured image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on set featured image. I'm going to look for a free image that looks well, that would look well with this article. And then I'll be right back and I will add it here. All right. So I went ahead and found a free image on pexels.com and I'm just going to drag it over here. And this is going to be now our featured image and it should look a little bit better. So if we click update and we're going to go back, let, let's just open this page this way. We can open link a new tab and boom, right? So this looks a little bit better. And once you start adding more posts, guys, you will have so many different options here. And the best part about it is, is that once we start running this offer on Google ads, um, you know, if you, if you run an offer to this, page specifically, people will see other posts and they'll be able to click all over to look at your different posts. They'll click on home. They'll see your other posts. They'll buy other products, you know, things like that. So this is a really good way to promote your products on Google ads. So that's the idea. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually promote this on Google ads, right? So what you can do is you can just head over to ads.google.com. You would create an account if you haven't already. It looks like they have a special offer where if you spend $500, they will give you $500 in free credit. So this is for new advertisers only if you don't have an account. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply sign in and I will see you inside my Google Ads dashboard. All right, so here I am inside the Google Ads dashboard. So what you're going to do is click on this little plus sign over here from the campaigns tab right over there. So you're going to click plus. You're going to click on new campaign. And we're going to be running traffic to either this page or this page right here. And like I said, you guys can always change the domain from your easy WordPress dashboard, right? So if you just log into easy WordPress, you will be able to just head down here, click on change and change this domain if you want to. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just be using this domain. It should be fine. So from here, you're going to click on website traffic. You're going to click on search. We're going to enter the website name, which is this is the page. We're going to copy it, come back here, paste it. We're going to name it, let's name this one Tau of Rich, and we're going to click continue. Now, uh, we're going to start new. We don't need that. Now, if you guys are uh, interested in learning about every single option here, what all of these tools at the top mean, what all these different settings mean, I do have a very thorough Google Ads training course at ebonmana.com slash old dash courses which guides you through every single step in very thorough detail. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go through the basics here enough to get you up and running. So we're going to start from the top here. Your daily budget, you can set whatever you want to. Obviously, the more you spend, the faster you'll get the results. But I'm going to start with $10 a day. That should be enough. Now, for the bidding, what I do like to start is click on that not recommended option and click on manual CPC. That way I am able to set my keyword bid for every single individual keyword, all right? If you click on more settings, you don't have to change anything here. The one thing you could change is do not optimize your ads so that you can optimize them yourself. But everything else you can just leave as is. And you're going to click next. Now for these network options here, I do like to deselect this option and just include Google search partners. If you want to show your ads strictly on google.com, then you would just deselect that. Okay, And now it will only show on google.com. So that's up to you, but I do not suggest, I don't know how that just selected them automatically. I didn't do anything. Now over here, you would set your location. So you can start with all countries and then you can kind of slowly remove the countries that aren't working. I generally like to start off with the tier one countries. So that's Canada, United States, Australia, New Zealand, and United Kingdom. All right. 
Yeah, so these are the ones I like to start off with, and then I could slowly expand if I see that the offer is doing well, because these are the countries with the highest quality traffic. For the language, we're going to keep it at English. Again, we're going to leave everything else as is. Under more settings, if you want to set a specific ad schedule, or if you want to set a start date and end date, you can do that here, okay? But I'm going to leave it as is for now. Now, for the keywords, this is saying how much are you willing to spend per click. So I'm going to say that I'm willing to spend, let's say, 20 cents per click. I do suggest starting with a lower click amount because you can always increase it or decrease it later on. So if you start with too high of an amount, you might exhaust your entire budget in a few hours and you probably don't want that. So I would start low and then if you're not getting enough clicks or impressions, then you can slowly increase it, okay? So just start low and then see how it goes. Now for the keywords, I do have a whole separate video on how to do keyword research. For the purpose of this video, let's just pick some of these suggestions here, some of the long tail keywords. Stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how to make these keywords even more relevant, how to make your searches even more relevant so you don't pay for irrelevant keywords. So I'm gonna, let's say, go with these. Now, what you could also do is if you type in something like self-development here, for example, and you click on update keywords, um, yeah, we can replace those keywords, that's fine. Uh, Google is gonna give you ideas, okay? So this is the quick and simple way of doing it. Now, I actually don't like that, so I'm gonna deselect it. I'm gonna click update keywords. And we're just gonna go back to whatever it pulled from our website, which was what we had before. So that's fine. Um, gonna remove that, gonna remove that again, okay? So that should be fine, that should be enough. Maybe not these. So long tail keywords are keywords that are three words or more, and they're just that much more specific. So something like this, okay? So we can leave it at that. Like I said, I do have a video on how to do more thorough keyword research, so you can go ahead and look at that. I will link it in the description. So once you're done with that, we can now set up our ad. So the ad is composed of three headlines and two descriptions. So you can get ideas here. If you click on more ideas, Google gives you ideas for what to write in the headline. Normally what I like to add for headline one is kind of like the keyword. So what is this article about? This is the five eyes to self-development, right? So maybe we can do that because that's actually exactly what our article is about. So we can say five eyes to self-development. We could also use these ideas. So we could click on that. And that actually didn't do anything. All it does is it just, Google just confirms and kind of rates your ad strength. So it says that if you included self-development that you know these keywords are basically covered. So you can't actually click on anything here, but what we can do is we can write more different ideas. So the five eyes to self-development, we can actually just use exactly what it says there. So we can say personal growth and development, and that perfectly fits in there. Um, and then we can include some call to actions now. So we could say, get started now. We can say, learn more now. You know, we could say something like, read more now, things like that. Now for headline three, we could say something like, let's see what it says here. Let's say five simple steps. Maybe we can leave it like, like that. Now, normally I like to include my call to actions as the second headline. So if you wanna make sure that the call to actions are in headline two, what you can do is make them show only in position two. So you can use these pins and just say, show only in position two, only in position two. And then these ones, for example, we wanna show only in position one, only in position one, and this we wanna show only in position three, okay? So this is something I like to do to ensure that my headlines are where I want them to be. Now for the description, we can also click on view ideas. There are no suggestions. So you could go on google.com or bing.com and you can look up suggestions for what people already have, or we can just come up with something. Let's say, um, learn, oops, can't say anything. Learn the exact, um, let's say five step formula for improving yourself via self development or something like that, right? Um, and then we can pin this to position one. Then for maybe description two, we can say these five simple steps will get you going in the right direction for self-development, something like that. And then we can you do this in position two. Now these are pretty similar, so I actually don't mind just deselecting it, um, putting them in any pin, and then Google is gonna split test and see which one works better in which position, okay? And that's basically the idea. We can look at the ad strength that says average because we need more unique headlines, but this ultimately doesn't matter. So if this works for you and if you're getting sales, it does not matter, okay? These are just Google suggestions based on their algorithms, but 
they're also not human and they don't know how people would emotionally react to things, right? So you can see what the ads look like here. Here are different ad variations. You can go to desktop. That's what it's going to look like on desktop. And you can see different options here, different variations. That looks good. And we're going to go ahead and click next. Now extensions, again, I do cover in my training course. Um, they do increase the visibility of your ads. They do increase the click rate. So how many people click on your ads, but they're not needed to get started. So I'm just going to go in and skip them and I'll click next. And then over here, you want to confirm everything. So you want to confirm the name of the campaign here. You want to confirm the campaign type. So we're showing only on Google. You want to confirm your budget. You want to confirm your CPC, um, you know, where you're showing it, all countries and territories, which by the way, yes, just these four. Good. Um, you know, the language, things like that, 17 keywords, and that looks good. Now, this is a suggestion. So it says no traffic expected. Keep in mind that uh, you can always add more keywords and increase the bid later on, okay? So don't get fixated on this. If you know that you have relevant keywords, don't worry about it at all. So we're just going to skip it. We'll say publish campaign. We'll say publish. And we should be good to go. And there you go. Here's our campaign up and running. And if you click on it, you'll be taken here to this article. And if you scroll down and you click on any of these links, like by clicking here, you'll be taken to this offer where you can promote it, okay? And that's the idea. Now, I did tell you that I was gonna show you how to make your keywords more relevant. And the way you do that is if you go into keywords, you select all your keywords, you click edit, and you say change match types, change all match types. You wanna change them, uh, change match type to phrase. And we're gonna click apply. And now all these broad match types are going to become phrase, which means that the words in your keyword must be present in the search term for your ads to actually show up. So as you can see, they have these little quotation marks, which means that they're a phrase, uh, whereas broad meant that as long as anything remotely similar, you know, even if it's not really what you're looking for is typed into the Google search, then your ads will show up, which sometimes will result in a lot of irrelevant clicks because um, you will get a lot of searches which aren't very relevant to what you're looking for. So this will definitely make everything more relevant and get you higher quality traffic. And that is basically the idea, guys. If you are looking for more training courses on Google ads or just in general, how to make money online, I do suggest you check out my training courses at evonmana.com slash old dash courses. And also I have over 400 videos guys on YouTube. If you go over to youtube.com slash evonmana, I have 400 plus videos of absolutely free content guys showing you how to make money online, all these different tutorials. If you're, for example, getting zero sales, why are you getting zero sales? Important changes that already happened in the past. You know, how to create a shopping campaign, winning offers, how to make money online, like, uh, like an actual Google Ads and Bing Ads case study, things like that. If you want to go through this, guys, so much free content, definitely take a look. That said, that is it for this video. I hope you found value. This is the ninja way to promote affiliate marketing products with Google Ads. I will see you in the next one.